families. San Diego County is missing out on $90,000 in state funding every year because of the lack of clean needle exchange programs. But County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher says that could change if the board votes to update a 23-year-old policy that prevents such programs. We have an obligation to take action to drive public policy in a way that we know will protect lives. Uh, we have an obligation to improve public health, to promote public health, to facilitate folks getting into drug treatment and recovery. And the simple reality is syringe services do all of these things. Adopting a evidence-based, scientifically proven, medically sound, community-supported practice like syringe services helps us lower rates of infection. It helps us promote public health. And perhaps most importantly, it helps us provide the best possible gateway and entry point into actual drug treatment recovery and the path to a better life. Some folks may not, may not like the optics or the stigma associated with syringe services programs, but we can't let optics or, or perceived bias stand in the way of doing things that we know will make a positive impact and difference for those that we represent. Family Health Centers of San Diego established safe needle disposal sites and started giving out clean needles 20 years ago. Since then, the center says it has kept more than 500,000 used syringes off our streets. The Board of Supervisors is scheduled to vote on the clean needle exchange policy this Tuesday.